Okay, we got the walk around video of the 1935 school bus. Restored as a hot rod. We'll do an overall walk around and then I'll go into detail in specific areas that were mentioned in the auction as well as to do a magnet test throughout for you guys to be able to get a good sense of the metal work Tires and wheels are in really nice shape. Uh, the wheels show any type of damage and tires. Show a lot of life and little use. Area over here, front left fender. It's a little bit of bubble there in the paint, and it's a magnet which shows to a deer without any problems. Metal fenders. With good magnetic traction. Small paint spider there. Chrome headlights and bumper. Nice, nice shape. Small paint imperfection there. So these, this is the other side. Okay. Shows the metal to be in good shape. These were as well. There is good magnetic attraction. As we mentioned, it appears as a good educated guess. There's a, another paint spider there. Let me get out of the shade. Um, it appears from an educated guess to be a 15 or 20 year old build and restoration. Um, in this area got strong magnetic attraction but the paint has the cracks the rest of it getting good it shows to be good metal and Filler, which I'm sure it was used like most all paint jobs to give the right lines and shape. So we'll start on this side for well, the doors, metal doors, nice glass, windshield, it is glass with the metal frame. 
stickers there from the different participations. Again, we think it was in the early 2000s. Mainly the stickers support that. That's from 2008. 2006. So yeah, I, was, I would say it was in the early 2000s that this was built and then shown. Okay, so this is one of the areas commented from the photos. There are a couple of cracks there and the one right here. And from the metal, you can feel it, but it's not very strong. So right there is really strong. Right there you have deers, but it's definitely there's definitely some thickness of, that's stronger and that's strong as well. In this area, it adheres, but it's definitely some body work there. Um, I can't really get the camera back there, but touching behind it doesn't seem to have been rust repair because it's, smooth metal in the back but likely maybe a dent I'm not sure but certainly some body work there blemish there on the actual paint but metal this is a little weak the the magnet as you get down right here is fine and then this is weaker again from the inside it's not it's hard to show on the camera but it seems to be flat metal um, we'll continue with the, all the upper areas. Doesn't show any magnetic weakness. That's good. Okay, so the back's another one of those areas that were pointed out. So I would say these right here looks to have been worked. And yeah, it's a uh, still sticks to it but it's not it's definitely weak cur bumper is metal and then this area the magnet still has attraction to it but you can tell it's a little weaker the door yeah has weaker magnetic attraction which I'm not sure if they of course because of the paneling we can't really tell from the inside but we'll take advantage of taking the video of the inside from the back door look at all the edges the metal work the metal body Right there. So we'll keep on going around. So down here, it sticks decently, a little softer or weaker in the curve, which I'm sure they worked at. So a little softer here as well. This panel there in the bottom upper panel nice and strong fenders same a little weaker there in the corner and much stronger on the top and from a 1935 vehicle with sheet metal it's actually very acceptable to have somebody work 
to give good straight lines with a new paint job. A little weaker there. So a little crack there in the paint. So a little softer there. Strong above it. And back to our starting point. So certainly there is body work that was performed before the paint job in the lower part of the bodies, which is totally acceptable and expected on a 1935 metal body. No fiberglass that we can tell. It appears to all be metal metal work which is certainly a plus doors so they just open that way from the outside once again the interior with the air conditioning knobs and the radio it supports the idea that it was built in the early 2000s but certainly very well kept and I would assume that those are the miles from when it was built glass is in great shape and the upholstery certainly presents very well kept and certainly very presentable. So window cranks on the first two doors. First two seats, excuse me, not doors. So the first two seats on each side has window cranks. The last window and quarter window does not and the driver's side does have a window crank as well. So backing up these beasts is certainly a little challenging because there is, um, this is the only rear view mirror which helps driving. I don't, I don't find it to be difficult, but backing up with the shape of the body into a garage. Certainly we've been doing it with a spotter. So we can call it a cold start, but obviously we drove it to the driveway. Um, here's your electric fan. So you can turn that on and off manually. Leave it off just so we can hear the engine turn well. Starts right up. So that's your AC controls. It does seem to blow cold air. I'm not sure how effective three small vents will be on a hot summer day, but I mean, it certainly will help. All this hardware for the door appears to be 